Okay, here's another video from Tech Devices on the Mobile GDO. In this video we're going to give a quick overview on the hardware installation. Here you can see we have a Mobile GDO that's already been programmed and is mounted to the struts that hold our garage door opener up. And I'll just give you a quick explanation of the wires. There's only six wires to hook up. and In this particular case the blue wires are what activate the garage door and they are connected in parallel with the terminals that go to your wall switch. So what the mobile GDO does is it acts essentially like a switch. And then we have two other pairs of wires which are for the open and closed sensors. I'm going to switch camera positions here so I can give you a better shot of how to install those sensors. The only other thing that's here is power supply. But that's pretty self-explanatory. Plug the power supply in, route it up, all the way up to the plug-in you should have on your ceiling. And one thing that you've really got to keep in mind when you're hooking up your wires is to use the provided sticky tabs and tie up your wires and make sure they're clear from any moving parts. Okay, I'm going to switch camera angles and show you the sensors. Okay, here's a typical uh, open sensor. Um, well, and this is on a T-Rail installation. You can see uh, different sensor installations on the website. You can see here what it is, is it's, uh, it's attached to the T-Bar. And then the yellow wires run back to the mobile GDO. Uh, right now the garage door is closed. So the magnet is way down there attached to the chain. What happens is when your door opens, that magnet travels along all the way up till it gets to the sensor. When the magnet gets close to that sensor, it closes that switch, and that's what tells the mobile GDO that your garage door is fully open. And that's a pretty typical installation on a T-Rail. On the other side, I can show you the two ways that you can do your uh, closed sensor, and uh, you'll see how the magnet gets attached. Okay, here you see a magnet attached to the chain with zip ties and the bottom sensor that picks up that magnet. Um, in this particular case, we actually needed to um, elevate that sensor to get a good signal. So you can see we just used some extra sticky tape just to build it up. Um, we recommend that you put the sensor off to the side. Some people put it underneath. Um, it really depends on how much your chain flops up and down. It's a little bit better if it's on the side, but each garage door is going to be a little bit different. Uh, the key here with the sensors is that you just be creative and uh, make sure you check that uh, wherever you mount these sensors that it's not going to come in contact with anything while it's moving. Uh, you can use a piece of tape and just create a little flag, wrap it around where you think you want to put the magnet and then engage your opener and you'll see, uh, you'll make sure it's clear. Uh, another way that you can do your install uh, included in the kit are these little T, are these uh, L brackets. And the L brackets just get mounted to the side and it holds the sensor and then you can see how the magnet is attached up there. And that's just another way to, to mount your magnet and sensor. Um, the concept is the same. As long as that magnet comes in close to the sensor, it'll close a little switch inside and tell the mobile GDO which state your garage door is in. Thanks for watching.